Hi guys, welcome back. What is lookup activity? Lookup look activity reads and return the content of a configuration file or table. It also return the result of execution, executing a query or store procedure. So right now, our motive of the purpose of this uh, util utilization of lookup activity is like retrieving a single row of data from linked services or data asset. Use case, retrieving a specific value or record based on condition populating variables or parameters with the data from external sources, triggering conditional branches in a pipeline based on lookup results. Okay, and configuration. Here, we need to configure the Azure linked services data set and query level. So, if you want to configure the linked services, so specify the connection for, to the external data set like Azure SQL DB, Azure Block Storage, or ADL Gen 2. Define the structure and location of the data within the linked services. Query. Specify the query. A SQL query or expression to filter the data and retrieve the desired rules. Output. Specify the output variables or parameter where the lookup result will be stored. Now we are going to see one approach with help of lookup activity. Okay. Come back here, portal.azure.com. Now, suppose now I want to add the lookup activity here. Okay. So here, Insert the lookup at it. Guys, this is like ADF tool. You click on author button and come back here, create a new pipeline. Okay. Now coming back here. Okay. In the activity shop, search for the lookup. Here, lookup you, you will find. Now here, I want to add the linker services. Okay. What is linker services? And data set. Guys, data set is nothing but what kind of data? And from which system you are loading. So right now I want to load from block storage. So I'm selecting delimited text. Select this one. Other block storage. Okay. I'm selecting input. Now I'm selecting one file. Click on OK. Yeah. Click on OK again. Now we observe here. So we have created the linker services and data set. Okay. Now I'm executing this debug mode. The lookup activity will give the output. Okay. Here and input. This is the input information. Now it is going to process. Now if it's the first row, it is going to read the first row. CID equal to 101. C name equal to Ramu. Okay. Now if you observe here input. Okay. It is reading the data. Okay. From the delimited states of whatever I created data set. On format settings, whatever I apply. So these are the configuration details. Now, if you observe carefully, it is going to return this one. Now I want to read all the records. Okay. So now uncheck this one. Now click on debug mode. So now if you are able to see, we can see the all the records. Okay. Now with help of lookup activity, how uh, based on this, you know, here I am getting the count. Okay. Based on the count, value, I want to load the data. So I am going to utilize if activity here. Okay. Now I am going to add here. Okay. For testing purpose, I have added. Now, if you see, based on this count, value, I want to load the data. I am selecting this one. Now add dynamic content here. Count. Okay, here I'm adding one function here. Greater comma zero. So it is whatever input lookup is giving the count, right? The uh, if they're getting five records or seven records, right? It is greater than zero, right? Then it has to go to the true block. Wait will exit. Or else I mentioned the fail activity here. Okay. No records. Error records. I'm just mentioning something. Okay. Now I'm executing the pipeline. Okay. You see here, it is executing two block. Wait. Now you can add here copy activity, guys. Okay, once the data is found, right? We can add the copy activity. We can load the data to target system. Okay, the count is there. Okay. Now, if you see wait activity is executing, it means 
proof block is it. You can add the copy activity by going here. You can configure the source and target. Okay. You can configure the source and target, then execute the pipeline. If the record, if the count is there, then only we can process the record. If no records mean we can tell the simple prompt message. Okay. I hope you like this video. Okay. Please subscribe my channel, guys. Thank you.